Team Series Event 7 consists of handstand push-ups, double unders, and a one rep max back squat. At the call of three, two, one, go, the first athlete performs as many repetitions of handstand push-ups as possible in a two minute window, then rests two minutes. When the clock hits four minutes, the first athlete performs as many double unders as possible in two minutes, then rests two minutes. When the clock hits eight minutes, the first athlete has two minutes to perform a one rep max back squat. 225. When the clock hits 10 minutes, the first athlete is done, and the second athlete begins immediately working in reverse order. 135. The second athlete starts by performing a one rep max back squat in a two minute window, followed by two minutes of rest. 185. When the clock hits 14 minutes, the second athlete has two minutes to perform as many double unders as possible, then rests two minutes. Finally, when the clock reads 18 minutes, the second athlete uses the remaining two minutes to perform as many repetitions of handstand push-ups as possible. The pair score is the total number of handstand push-ups plus double unders plus the max back squat of each athlete in pounds. Prior to starting the workout, the athlete and judge will need to set the markings for their handstand push-up, a foot line, and a box for the hands. To determine the foot line, the athlete stands in a hip width stance on the surface they will use to perform handstand push-ups with their toes touching the wall. They raise their hands over their head lock out their elbows, and with their thumbs touching, press their palms against the wall. A line is marked at both wrists. Then, a second line is made three inches below the wrist marks. Finally, a straight line is used to connect the two lower marks. Use tape to mark the line, or some other method that won't rub off during the event. On the same surface on which the handstand push-ups will be performed, a box measuring 36 inches wide by 24 inches deep must also be marked. Every repetition of the handstand push-up begins at the top of a handstand with the arms fully locked out, the heels on the wall, and the hips open with the body in line with the arms. The athlete's heels must start the rep above the marked foot line. At the bottom of each rep, the head must make contact with the floor. At the top of each rep, the athlete must return to a fully extended position with the arms fully locked out, the heels on the wall, and the hips open with the body in line with the arms. The athlete's heels must finish the rep above the marked foot line on the wall. Throughout the rep, the palms of the hands must stay within the clearly marked box on the floor. Kipping is allowed. For every repetition of the double under, the rope must pass forwards around the athlete's body. Each double under repetition must have the rope pass successfully around the athlete's body twice. Every repetition of the back squat must have the athlete pass below parallel, where the hip crease is clearly below the top of the knee, and finish with the athlete standing to full extension of the knee and hip. Weight can be added or decreased as the lifter chooses and team members may assist each other in loading or unloading weights. 
the lifter must declare the weight they are attempting prior to each lift. 275. If an athlete fails to achieve proper depth or commits any other range of motion error, he or she may attempt that repetition again before re-racking the bar in order to get credit for the rep. Athletes may attempt as many one rep max back squats as they choose in their two minute window. The pair's score will be the sum of only the heaviest successful completed lift from each athlete. The weight of the barbells and all plates to be used in the event must be clearly identified in the video. Plates smaller than one half pound may not be used and the minimum weight increase permitted will be a one pound increase. Clips must be used, a rack is required and only one barbell is permitted. For complete event details and the scaled option, go to games.crossfit.com.